This is set number 38045, Donkey Kong and Standard Kart Building Set. This is a Mario Kart Wii Connect set from 2012. Ages 6 and up, 65 pieces, official Nintendo product, and retails for $15.99. That's the original price for it, um, still shown on the Kinect's website, but on other places you may be able to find this for around $10. Let's take a closer look at the set now. Let's start off with our instruction manual. It has a feature in here. A lot of it is also shown on the box that you can uh, get a free track panel to put on the bottom of the box so you can use this as a ramp. You get that panel on Connects's website. It shows you how to build the figures. You have some of the bike assortment and the other kinds of carts. Then you have a fold out which shows you all the directions and how to put the stickers on. The stickers are marked with letters so you know how to put them on correctly. The stickers are shown on this little sheet and one of the stickers is all white and has a little round tip so it tells you which part of it is the top and which part, well, you would assume is the bottom. I am some, for some reason, I'm missing one of the pieces in the back. I'm not sure where it is, but these pieces do fall off often, so it could be, could be lost somewhere, anywhere. Uh, I apologize for that. It does have a pullback motor feature on this model. And as you see on the box, it also has a blooper on the corner. Now on the back of it, they show you a little bit about the ramp, the building, and everything we saw in the instructions. This is how you would set it up if you were to use it as a ramp. And most likely I will not. Because it, it works, but it's not necessary to me. At least I have the tracks. So if you don't have the tracks, this is a good way to use a set um, as a ramp. It's also large enough to fit two carts on it. So let's get to the actual set. Here we have Donkey Kong. A very well detailed figure. A little bit plain on the texture on the torso, but still makes him look good. He even got feet details. He can stand on regular bricks, even Lego bricks. His arms do move around, and his wrist can move too. His head can't move, but his torso can. And his head can't move because it's positioned and it's only fit in the one spot. Like part of the molding, is to fit his head. So, basic figure, but I still like him. He's one of the cheaper ways you can get him, um, but you could also get him in mystery packs or in bike sets, so there are cheaper ways than this set. We also get a blooper in this set, and this is used as one of the items in Mario Kart Wii. In Mario Kart Wii, this, this item was introduced. Usually it's a character, so if you want to use it as a character, it still has access to put onto studs. And the idea of this is once you pick it up, you can use it against someone directly in front of you, and it blinds their faces. Because the, well, spreads ink. So let's talk about the cart. And there's a couple things I have to talk about the cart, even though it's a standard model. This is a standard way of building the cart for... Um, just about every single, you know, standard cart building set, whether it's Mario, Toad, Luigi, Yoshi, whoever it is, they usually have the same pieces involved, um, and the, and the difference goes into the color, the stickers, and this piece in the middle. Larger figures have the, have that hole put towards the back, and smaller figures have it more towards the front. And I'll show you what that means once I put Donkey Kong on there. So we do have a bunch of stickers on here. Approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One on the back. And the stickers in the front have held up pretty well for a while. I'm happy about that. But the ones on the side always have a problem sticking. They always happen to stick up. And what I don't like a lot about a lot of these stickers is they're on multiple pieces. Like, this one's... This one sticker is attached to one, two, three, four, and five 
six pieces. Yes, this is part of the plates on the bottom. So it makes it a little bit harder to use in other areas because you have to take those stickers off. And then well, if you want to go back to this model, well, you can't really use it that well. This also has two pieces involved for the stickers. One, two, as does the one underneath it. Here's a look at it from the back. Again, I apologize, I don't have the uh, all the engine pieces. These are all the exhausts. And they are very loose. They can fall off very, very easily in play. So it would have been better if they had a few pieces on the top just to secure it better. And we do have the DK sticker on the back. That's cool. Don't be gone. So, we got our figure. You can... It'll come off at the torso and pretty much is recustomizable in any part of him. And he just sits right here as if he's sitting in the cart. Now this is what I mean that with larger figures have that little peg go, go towards the back. It gives them enough space that you can see them and move them a little bit. You know, and make them look like they're actually driving. Now, if we were to have this piece turned around, it would be too much in his face. So it is a good choice. You know, he can't even reach the steering wheel because it's in him, almost. So, it is a good choice to have have it this way. They show you in the instructions, that's how it goes. But, if you want to change it for other Mario Kart figures, you can do that. I don't know why, though, they would drive a Donkey Kong Kart. Because it is his, his logo on it. Next, well, and also, a lot of this build is very solid. Except for the few pieces in the back, a lot of it can hold together pretty well. But I would say, in some areas, you don't want to hold it because it could make the pieces either loosen or fall off. Most of them towards the back, if you hold it in this area and you press hard on it when you pull back, it could make them fall off. So just be careful of that. So I have a couple clips that we're going to show about how it does with the pullback motor on a Mario Kart track. So let's take a look at some of those. So here we are with the Mario Kart track set up. I just made a straight line and it does have room for two carts in it. And it's also narrow enough over here for one cart. So we're going to test out our carts and see how well they do on the track. So now I'll test out this one on the track. And here we go. And it stopped. Let's try it the other way. Oops, went a little bit off track. One more test. See if it stays on track this time. And still going off track. Okay, let's start this one up. And we'll see how this one does around the track probably more than enough. See how this goes. Still didn't make it around. Okay. Let's try it again from the other side, see if it makes any difference. Yeah, and even a little bit less there. So, there is some kind of momentum being lost here as it rounds the corners. Maybe it's hugging one side too much and it's um, keeping it from going all the way around the track on its own. Either that or the pullback motor can't handle it. Could be that. I don't know how far back you can pull this until the motor breaks. Because you can definitely have a lot of clicks afterwards you can pull it to. We'll just try it one more time. And a little bit more in progress, but you can see even after a lot of clicks, it still hasn't made it all the way around. So I'm not sure what it's going to be. Whether it's the cart, the, or the track, or the motor. And I say the cart separately because maybe it's the design of it. Maybe these pieces are in the way of it. So we'll see. So as you can see from our clips, we've had an um, interesting turnout with the standard cart. And this is a similar turnout which I've seen with a few of the other standard carts. Since they're made the same exact way, they've had the same results. And does that mean the track's bad, or does it mean the carts are bad? Well, it's hard really to say. I mean, 
We did see in the first part of the clips that only one curve was added, a lot of it was straight, and when it when the cart approached the curve, it almost flew off. So I don't know if that has to do with, I mean, I'm even looking at this now, it's like a little bit slanted in its build. So maybe it, maybe this part is like too low and this part's a little too high and it couldn't, at that time, um, keep the car in balance so it went a little bit off. Because that's something I just looked at right now and it actually makes sense to me. Because, you know, if this is a little bit lower, it would be able to hit against the track curves and continue on its way. One thing that doesn't help with both, both you know, these kinds of carts and probably the motorized, I don't have the motorized, so I can't really say too much for them, but one thing I think might um, not help for them is the fact that they lose momentum on the curves. And that happens with anyone driving, whether it's actual cars or it's pullback motor cars. So, I don't think that's a, you know, it is a disadvantage, especially with a pullback motor, because it only has so much energy inside of it, and can only go so far, that losing this momentum when it, when it makes turns is not going to make it go all the way around the track. So, I don't really have any recommendations as far as fixing that problem, but I just want to make that aware, because it's something that is kind of bothersome, you know, if you want to get the standard cart to be able to play with it and be able to get the you know some nice figures and accessories you're really not going to go too far with the track now granted you could still make your own track like I say you could use this as a ramp and you could also set up a whole bunch of other things but when it comes to turns I don't know what you're going to use something that should be durable enough that it can you know withstand a car going into it but still have the car moving along with it I mean, none of these wheels are turning, so the the car is not going to do the turning. It's more the track that's doing the turning. So it's hard to say whether or not the cart is the problem, or if the track's the problem. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thanks for watching this video, and um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. We'll see you next time with more Connects Mario Kart and Mario in general uh, video reviews.